What is going on out there? Horror fam. How is everyone today? What's going on, Michael Richardson? What are you doing in here, good sir? Good sir. What are you up to, man? I see we have Hammerhead in here. What's going on, Hammerhead? Today... We are getting an early one in, as Hammerhead pointed out. It's like, yeah, this is an early one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Early bird gets the worm today. And today we're going to be having some more horror trivia. Horror trivia. Going to be a lot going on. What is up? Sailor Outlaw George Ishak. What's going on, man? What is going on? JK with the... What's up, JK? What's going on? Claire's in here, baby. What's going on, Claire? What's going on, Claire? Did you get your t-shirts yet? I remember you ordered a couple um, last stream, if I remember correctly. Oh, man, the horror fam coming in strong today. Look at this. Look at this. Got a lot of people coming in from the old x A lot of people coming in from Facebook, YouTube, man. What's up, DB? What's up, DB? Man, oh, man. Oh, Claire. Oh, she's going to get it any day now. What's up, little sleepy? What's up, little sleepy? Damn, is that you in your profile picture, man? You running a black metal band? What is going on there, man? I dig it. I dig it. And this is your first time in here, if I'm not mistaken. So welcome to the horror fam. You can never grow old. You can never die. You're now one of us. Hell yeah. Look at the, the members in the chat, baby. Spamming. Spamming the members only emojis. Look at that. Taking advantage of your perks. I like it. I like it a lot. A lot of mayhem in here, Hammerhead. You believe this? Even Michael Richardson getting in on the action. I can't believe it. Out of control. So I know we're doing an early one today. A lot of people, a lot of people catching on to that. So yeah, the the just to give you guys and ghouls a heads up for the next month and a half, probably. Things are gonna be a little bit weird around here. Things are gonna be a little bit weird. I'm gonna try my absolute damnedest to stick to the every Thursday schedule. There may be an extra stream in here, here and there. There, you know, but it's going to be weird. We are preparing to move back to the big West Virginia. During that move, who knows what in the hell could happen. My, um, uh, a lot of you regulars probably know that I do own a classic Camaro. It is officially a classic. It is in the shop right now. So I'm dealing with that. I uh, had to go deal with that a little bit today. Uh, we have the move to West Virginia coming up. We have a lot going on. So I had to move some things around. So that's why we're having an early stream today. An early stream. And like I said, I'm going to try my best to stick to every Thursday. That is same talk or time same talk or channel it's just i know that when when we actually get on the road for the move it's going to take us probably five to six days of actual active moving because i mean we're going across the country and you know thursday might pop up pop up and we might be on the road you know um so, you know, I'll try to do some kind of live stream when that happens. I don't know what it'll be. Um, at least say hi to you folks. But man, oh man, we got a ton of people coming in here. Look like this could be another record-breaking stream. We're up to 28 right now. J-Dub is in here. J-Dub, where you been, brother? Has everything been okay? We've, we've had a few, uh, few people come up missing on us, man. I don't know uh, where they've been. Michael Richardson has been one of them. Said he's had a rough past couple of weeks. Yeah, man, we um, we're, we have a few uh, 
absentee peoples. Yeah, yeah, so just wanted to let you all know that is what is going on over here for me. So like I said, going to try to remain as consistent as possible, but we do have the move coming up and my car is currently in the shop and still trying to figure out what to do about the vehicle. So a lot of big decisions coming up, a lot of big decisions coming up, a lot of big things happening, big changes for us, but you guys and gals will get the old school talk horror background back. That's one cool thing. I know some of you missed that when I had the plethora of horror behind me. Oh man, uh, JK saying today would have been his mom's birthday. So sorry to hear about that, brother, but you know, <sighs> that's tough. That is very tough. I know a few of us are going through the same thing, man. So you're not alone. Reach out anytime. Anytime. Uh, yeah, Hammerhead. There are people that are missing from the members list. There's people that did not renew. I've been trying to figure out how to retain the channel members because those help so much. So if you have any ideas, please be in contact with me. You know, why did you decide to renew? What keeps you sticking around? I would love to know because like I said, it helps so much. And, and we're trying to take Talk Horror full time this year. Full time this year, man. Full time. We're going to see what we do, we, what we can do. Some big changes coming up this year. So today is going to be another horror trivia stream that I'm going to show you all. Here is the Talk Horror GPT-7 Dynamic Leaderboards, designed by yours truly. Let me tell you something, folks. This isn't AI you're seeing. This isn't, uh, you know, this isn't a figment of your imagination. No, I actually designed this, and yes, it is in brilliant, uh, high dynamic resolution quality, as you can tell. I mean, this is this took months at least. But here we are. Here's the horror trivia leaderboards. As you can see, it's empty right now, man. Somebody needs to split this thing wide open, become the first one up on the leaderboards. We'll see who that'll be. Like I said, we got some rousing trivia going on today. We're about to get into that here in a minute. J-Dub saying, my mom pa passed last year, three days before Halloween. Really puts a dampen on my favorite holiday, but got to push through. Jeez, man. Sounds like we're all kind of... Uh, in the same boat over here, man. I see a lot of uh, a lot of people missing on some parents. Yeah, dang. Sounds like we're uh, man. Jeez. Yes, JP coming in asking, did you share why the show is early today? Not yet, JP. Not yet. I'm, I'm going to save it as a bit of a surprise. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to save that as a bit of a surprise. Something people can look out for on the community post. It's a. It's a miracle that that's even happening today. Man. And yeah, sorry, sorry for your loss there, J Dub. But once again, dude, you're not alone. Reach out anytime, man. The horror fam's always here, and we're already always running strong, baby. Damn. No, Anna is not going to be with us today, man. The Let me tell you something, guys. Like I told you, we have a move coming up. A huge move coming up. My car's in the shop. Tons of stuff going on. And Anna, it, it's just best if Anna doesn't even show up today on the stream, man. Uh you know, there, there's so much going on for us right now. I don't blame her. I probably look a little bit tired myself. Uh, woof. Caitlin's in the house, baby. What's going on, birthday girl? Hey, let's get some let's get some birthday wishes for Caitlin going on. Come on, let's see it in the chat. Let's get those cakes in there. Where's those cake emojis at? Huh? Huh? Come on, get those cake. Get those cakes up. Let's see it. Come on. Woo! There you go, Caitlin. There you go. From me anyway. Yeah, DB's working, but hey, she is listening. She can't help herself. Can't help herself. Man, oh man, another record-breaking stream, it looks like. We're at 46 people in here right now. Jeez Louise, man. Jeez Louise. Look at that. Look at that, Caitlin. Man. 
man, oh man. Okay. All right, folks. I want a show of hands. Who is ready for some talk horror trivia, baby? We have poster trivia all day long. Poster trivia all day long. Hammerhead, I'm not sure where he is. He's got to be around somewhere, probably playing on his iPad or something. I don't know. You know how that is. You know how these kids are. These kids. In case y'all don't remember, I officially claimed Nate Blanche as my own last week. I believe it was. He's mine now, dang it. All right. All right. We got Claire's ready. Michael Richardson is ready. Hammerhead, let's see it. There it is, baby. Hammerhead's getting them up. Getting them up. And we have broke 50 people in here right now. Our our record is 63. We're going to keep this train rolling and see if we can't break that, man. Oh, man, we're at 52. We're at 52. 11 away. 11 away. Dang. Record-breaking streams tonight, people. Okay, here we go. We're going to get... Some trivia rolling. First question is coming up right now. Everybody get those hands over your keyboards. I'm going to start us off with an easy one. A pretty daggone easy one. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this? It is not Willow Hammerhead. Come on, jeez. Jeez Louise. Damn it, Hammerhead. He just waits. He just waits. Michael Richardson, officially the first one to get it. It, The answer is, of course, Casper. Casper, the friendly ghost. Check this out. Boom. Look at that, man. Casper. Who we got there on the front? We got Casper. We got Stinky. We got Stretch and Fatso. Oh, man. Who remembers that movie? Who remembers that movie, man? That was a fun one. That was a fun one. Damn, good job, though, Michael Richardson. First one up on the Talk Horror leaderboards. But I got to tell you, man, Claire was right there with you. I thought she got it at first. I thought she did. J-Dub right there, too. Oh, man. Oh, J- oh JK, this is horror to the max, bro. This is the scariest movie I've ever seen in theaters. One of the scariest I've ever seen in theaters. Mm-mm-mm. All right, folks. All right. Now, that was an easy one. That's to get you warmed up. That's to get you warmed up. I'm going to throw another easy one your way. I'm going to throw another one easy one your way. Let's see here. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Get those hands over the keyboards. Hands over your keyboards. We'll throw another easy one up right now. This is for one point. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? Oh, Claire! Claire, laying the hammer down, baby. Not afraid to throw her name into the mix. Claire comes in and says, hey, come on, man. Come on. That's easy, Steve. Give us something harder, baby. That is clearly Disturbia. Clearly Disturbia with the Shia LaBeouf. With the Boofster in there. Man. Yes, 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 yes. And with that... Claire taking her spot on the leaderboards, giving Michael Richardson a run for his money here. And I want to show hey, who liked the Disturbia. I thought it was, I thought it was a, um, I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was a fun movie. You know, it plays on a plot that we've all kind of seen before. We all, we, we we've all heard about it. We all know about it, but I liked Disturbia. I thought it was pretty fun. Claire liked it. Michael Richardson liked it. There we go. Hey, we got D.O.D. in the hizzles. What's going on, D.O.D.? Just in time for some trivia, baby. We got an early stream going on today. We're about to set another record in here. 
We're at 56 people. 56. Goodness gracious. 56 people. Can you believe it? Eight away from breaking our 63 record. JK saying it was pretty good. Shia LaBeouf before he was annoying. And yes, I know his name is LaBeouf, but I will always call him the Booth. Always. Always. Can you dig it? There we go. Yes, DB. And Caitlin, yes, of course we'll put your name as B-Day Girl if you make it to the leaderboards. You got to make it to the leaderboards to make those dreams come true, though. So I'm going to give you the opportunity right now. And right now, we're at 60 people, baby. 60 people. 61 strong in here. 61 strong. Two away from a new record. 62. 62. We're about to tie it up, son. About to tie it up, son. Yes. All right. I better get some trivia rolling. I know Claire, or excuse me, Caitlin, is foaming at the mouth for this one. She's right. 64. We're at 64 strong. Taking a screenshot. We have officially broke our record. We have officially broke our record, people. 65. 65. Oh, my goodness. Taking another screenshot. Boom. Ah, oh, it's too late. Damn it. It dropped back to 64. That's okay. That's okay. I know the majority of these people are coming in from the big X. Coming in from the big X. All right. Hey, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. We might get up, we might get up to 65 again. I got a screenshot at 64, though. Okay, everybody. Hey, and we have people coming in from Facebook, too. Okay, everybody. Hands over those keyboards. We've got another trivia question coming up right now. This is for one point. One point. Here we go. We'll mix it up a little bit. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? Be quick or be dead, folks. Somebody's going to nail this one with the quickness. With the quickness, Claire Lusher coming in. No mercy. No mercy. The answer is, of course, The Blob. And we're talking about The Blob remake from 1988. 1988. With, oh, what's his name? Kevin Dillon and Shawnee Smith. Yes, 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 yes. The Blob. And with that, Claire Lusher taking first place. You see that? Did you see what Claire did right there, folks? There was no mistake in it. There was no mistake in it. Claire was going to get that one, baby. Did you see? She essentially bodied on the competition. There were people in her way, and she was like, mm. Out of the way, Jack. Out of the way. Out of the way. What are you doing? 69 people in here. 69 people in here, folks. 70. 70. We've touched 70. 70 is the new record. We have officially touched 70 people in the stream right now, folks. 70 viewers strong, baby. 70 viewers strong here, baby. The horror fam growing growing and I like to you know what I'm going to attribute that to Claire Claire came in snatched up first place and everybody man man the fans came out of the stands and rushed rushed center stage man it's all because of Claire we're going to give it up to Claire baby celebrate good times come on much love in the horror fam running wild today running wild all right, folks. All right. I want those hands over the keyboards. We're going to keep this train rolling. We're going to keep it rolling. And, and you know, they're going to get a little bit progress. There's some, I, I mean, I've got a good mix here. I've got a good mix. Good mix. But there's some tough ones in here. There's some tough ones. All right, folks. I want those hands over your keyboards. Hands over the keyboards. Your next trivia question is coming up right now. What horror movie is this poster from? Dude, 
what horror movie is this poster from? Dude! Come on, somebody's going to get this. Oh my goodness gracious. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Claire, Claire, Claire. Laying the smacketh, downeth. Now with three points on the leaderboards, the answer was, of course, the Prom Night remake from 2008. The Prom Night remake from 2008. I think we all remember that. Once you've seen that one, I don't think you're ever going to forget it. I don't think you're ever going to forget something like Prom Night from 2008. Who? I mean, come on, hands in the chat. Who remembers that one? Jeez Louise, who remembers that one? That is a slasher film with no slashing right there. Everybody gets an off-screen death in that one. I remember seeing that. Yes, very, very, very cheesy, Claire. Very cheesy. I remember seeing that one in theaters. And uh, you are you you all are going to be surprised about this one, but I got a confession. I got a confession to make right now. Yes, Brittany Snow, J.K. Brittany Scott Snow, but J.K., listen to me. J.K., if you're not sitting down, please do right now. Any anybody in the horror fam, don't for God's sakes, don't listen to this while you're driving. But I got a confession. I saw Prom Night 2008 in theaters. Not once. Not once, horror fam. But twice. But twice. I know. I know. I can hear it. I can hear it. Settle down. I can hear it. I can hear the gasps. They're filling my ears. I can I can hear the gasps. Gasps around the world, but... Um, I saw it twice because, hey, but because, look, man, my theaters were cool here in the big WV. So they, okay. So when this, one of our theater companies out here wanted to upgrade their theaters, instead of tearing, instead of like renovating their old one, they wanted a new build. And instead of tearing the old one down they left it up and changed it to a two dollar theater and i saw prom night i I can't remember if i saw it once at full price and then once at two bucks i can't remember exactly but i did end up seeing it twice because of the uh it went to the two dollar theater so um and it was just you know Hey, you know, cheap seats, cheap seats, something to do, right? Not the best way, but hell, it was a horror movie in theaters. I saw it twice. And, uh, whew, whew, I know, I know, I know. Don't beat me. Don't please, please no lynch mob. Come on, I'm not Frankenstein over here, even though I did pull off a uh, Frankenstein-like maneuver. Samuel Stokes, what's going on, Brother Jack dude? Glad to see you in here, man. Adding... To our viewer count tonight, Samuel Stokes, we are at 72 people in here. 72 people in here, man. Woo! Woo! We're burning it up, just like Claire over here, who has a two-point cushion in first place. And JK saying, I can top that. I saw Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 twice in theater. Hated it both times. I'm literally the comic book guy. I mean, holy... uh, JK, I think you should have warned people to sit down for that one, brother. I thought prom night was bad. Jeez. Jeez, brother. Oh, my goodness gracious. How the hell did you pull that off? Oh, man. I'll never forget the first time I saw Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 in theaters. Never, ever, never, ever. 77 people in here right now, folks. We are on track to hit 80. We could hit 80 at any minute. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I'm going to get into another trivia question. Keep this ball rolling. 
keep y'all entertained. Appease the horror gods. So get those fingers over your keyboards. This one's going to be a good one, folks. I'm, I'm going to make this one a little bit tougher. A little bit tougher. Just a little. So hands over those keyboards right now. Here we go. Your next question is coming up. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? Look at Claire. Claire's over there like a speed demon. I know she is. She's typing her ass off. Sweat's pouring down into her eyebrows, down into her eyes. She's wiping it away. Oh, Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Laying it down. The answer is, in fact, Grizzly. The answer was, in fact, Grizzly. Good job, Hammerhead. Making your way onto the leaderboards there. Can't believe it. Oh, Claire said she had no clue what it was. I'm surprised. Claire has been on a tear. Tear, Claire. Claire, tear. There we go. There we go. Well, DB thought it was Uncle Sam, too. Very close, very close. A lot of white in both posters, but the answer was, in fact, Grizzly. And with that, Hammerhead makes his way onto the leaderboards. Look at that. Congratulations, Hammerhead. Look at that, folks. Let's give Hammerhead a round of applause for that one. Making his appearance felt on the leaderboards. That doesn't happen very often. Everybody thought it was Uncle Sam. DOD thought it was Uncle Sam as, as well. Man, oh man. Die going. Look at this hammerhead. Claire throwing it down for you. DOD throwing it down. Mm -mm -mm. Hammerhead making it. Look at that. All right, folks. All right, we're going to move on to our next question. I got, I, got, I got you a little bit good with that one. Got you a little bit good with that one. But this next one, I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to make it easy. I think I know what I'm going to do here. I think I know what I'm going to do. Everybody get those hands over your keyboards because this one's going to be a race. This one's going to be a race. Everybody's going to jump in. You're going to get a little bit nervous. You're going to know this one right off the bat. So get ready, folks. Hands over those keyboards. What horror movie is this poster from? Come on. Come on. Everybody knows this. Come on, you're wasting time. You could be typing faster. Don't mess up. Michael Richardson. Michael Richardson gets it. He was the first one to get it out. It is, in fact... Nightmare Before Christmas. Good job, Michael Richardson. With that, you get a point added beside of your name on the leaderboards here. Hotly contested today. Hotly contested today. Look at this. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. One. We have Claire Lusher in first with three points. Michael Richardson in second with two points. And Hammerhead in third with one point. And with that, folks, we've broken 80. We are at 81 people in here right now. Holy, holy mackerel. We've done it. And I have no idea where Nate Blanche is. JP asked that earlier. I think he's he's one of those that let his membership run out and he's disappeared. I think Hammerhead needs to get on to him. Get on him, Hammerhead. Hammerhead, of course. You, Hammerhead, you're right here. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, it seems like we have a typo there. Goodness gracious. Look at this, folks. I don't know how that happened. The Talk Horror Dynamic GPT-7 leaderboards here. Uh, we, we, we It looks like we've had a little bit of a typo there. So... Uh, for, excuse me there, Hammerhead. I got you fixed up. There we go, man. But uh, yeah. And where's Pinhead? Where's Pinhead? I want to know where Pinhead is, man. I missed that dude. I don't know where. He, he came onto the members only stream and I haven't seen him since. Had a great night with him. Great chat. Talked for a while. Man. Who's going to be at Halloween Horror Nights, Michael Richardson? You, you, you got me. You got my interest peaked. But I'll tell you what. You better keep those hands over the keyboards and not answer. Answer. 
just yet. Just yet. Because your next trivia question is coming up right now, man. I'm not slowing down. I'm burning it up over here, baby. Hands over those keyboards, folks. Hands over your keyboards. This one's going to get good. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. Hmm. It is not Ghost Ship. Claire Lusher does not Ghost Ship. It is not Misery. It is not Night Swim. It is not Barbarian. It is not Slumber Party Massacre 3. It is not Let Me In. It is not Jules Verne. It is not Let the Right One In. Woo! Looks like I put in some work. On this one, baby. 86 people in here. 86 people. Quick update. 86 peeps. It is not Fright Night. No, sir. It is not Bruiser. What horror movie is this poser from? Whoa, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. JK's requesting a hint. There is a music video for this movie. There is a music video for this movie. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I will say that I do like the music video for this movie a lot. Uh, Not Castle Freak, not The Exorcist, not The Haunting of Hill House, not Jason Lives. There is a... No, it's not Ghostbusters. There is a music video for this movie, and it is the music video is titled the same as the movie as well. The person who did the music for this movie is famous, very famous, especially among horror fans, especially among horror fans. It is not prison. It is not a nightmare on Elm Street 3. This person is known for producing great music. Great music. Michael Richardson's giving up. Daughter of Death is giving up. It's not the final nightmare. Chad Edmonds, welcome to the stream. Okay. Um, one would call this the master of horror. One would one would say the composer is the master of horror. It is not Psycho. It is not Psycho. Oh, and we have crossed 91 people, 92 people in the stream, folks. We're on our way to 100. We're at 93. 93 people in the stream. 94. It is not Toby Hooper. It is not Escape from New York. It is not Scream. It is not The Fear. JK got it. JK got it. JK, I missed you there a little bit in my excitement. The answer, folks, the answer is, in fact, John Carpenter's Christine. John Carpenter's Christine. And if you have not seen the music video, which is titled John Carpenter's Christine, if you have not seen the music video he did for that, you need to check it out. 
It is a great music video. I know I've showed it to Dragon Blues. Great music video. Man, oh man, I cannot believe we are over 90 people in here strong. If we can just get a few more, we're going to break triple digits. We might break triple digits today, horror fam. We might break triple digits. That's insane. That is insane. I can't believe that, man. That's that is a hell of a record. This is nuts. Nuts. And uh, Chad Edmonds, um, I explained it a little bit at the beginning of the stream, but yeah, we had to do one. We had to do an early stream today, man. We're prepping for our move. We have a bunch of last minute plans and prep going on. Uh, we're going to be hitting the road over the next month and a half. Things are going to be slightly weird around here. And we'll try to be as consistent as I possibly can. And also another thing, my, my car is in the shop right now. Um, so, you know, you know, Chad, you're just going to have to sign up for the, everybody make sure you have the notifications turned on, please, because of how weird things are going to get, because I did post a community post. So if your notifications are turned on, hopefully you get those. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows with YouTube, right? Who knows with YouTube, right? Hammerhead, I could write a damn country song at, the, at this point. Okay, folks, here's what the leaderboards look like right now. We have Claire Lusher in first with three points. Michael Richardson in second. We have Hammerhead 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 with one. And JK with one. Oh, my goodness gracious. We are going to see what we can do here, folks. Um, Artsy, Artsy coming in. You're not too, too late, Artsy. It's okay, but let me tell you something, Artsy. We are at 96 people in here, right? We're at 98. We're at 98 people in here. Two more people in here, and we 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 break triple digits. We break triple digits. If we can get two more people in here, um, we are at 98 as of right now. 98 as of right now. Yeah, we've been live for 37 minutes. Morgan Scorpion, welcome to the stream. Oh my goodness, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're at 99, people. I'm going to ask a trivia question. We're going to see if we can't break triple digits. This is getting, I'm getting the goosebumps. I'm getting the goosebumps, man. Hey, hey, here we go, here we go. I saw it, Michael Richardson. I saw it, Tigger and Pooh and Five Nights at Freddy's and all that. Okay, here we go, folks. Next question coming up right now. What horror movie is this poster from? I'm telling you, this one's going to go quick. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? There you go. Hammerhead nailing it down. It is, in fact, The Hitcher. It is, in fact, The Hitcher. Good job, Hammerhead. I think this is your first time ever getting two points on the board. So we're going to take a look here at the at the uh, Talk Horror GPT-7 leaderboards. Here we go, folks. We have a tie now for second place between Michael Richardson and, of course, Hammerhead making his presence felt. Two points. Two points, Hammerhead. You're, you're killing it, man. Killing it. Look at that. Look at that. Hammerhead laying the law down. We're at 100 people, folks. We're at 103. 103 people. Oh, my God. As soon as I said it, we went up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. 103 people in here. We've done it. We have done it. Oh my goodness, tons of people flooding in from X. Tons, tons. Oh my God, thank you, horror fam. Yes, Shroom Tripper, we've done it, baby. Shut up, James. What's going on, dude? What's going on, brother? Welcome to the horror fam. You can never grow old, you can never die. You are now one of us. Hell yeah, we're having us a trivia night, man. And old Nicholas Skills, 
coming in, reminding everybody real nice and friendly like, hit that thumbs up. Hit the like button. There we go, man. I like that. My hype man, baby. It is the beard, Hammerhead. Have you noticed? Have you noticed the power of the beard? You know, I think if I shaved this thing off, I would lose my power. I think I would. Horror fam strong all night long, baby. I love it. I love it. Man, and we're getting old Nicholas in here. Shroom Tripper. I ain't seen y'all folks in a hot minute. In a hot minute. And thank you, Morgan. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Claire celebrating. DB, Hammerhead, and Artsy. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Laying it down. All right. We're going to see if we can't keep this train rolling. You never know, man. We might get 110 in here next. So I'm going to ask another trivia question and see how we do. And, and Hammerhead, you might beat your personal best. I don't know. We're going to find out. We are going to find out. But here we go, folks. Get ready. Hands over those keyboards. Next question coming up right now. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? And did you hear my my sad attempt at trilling my... I can't do it. I can't do it with my tongue. I got to do it with the, with the back of my throat. No, uh, it is not Goosebumps Pumpkinhead, Terrifier 2, or The Mummy, or The Town That Dreaded Sundown. Even though The Town That Dreaded Sundown is a great guess, this looks like the uh, the new poster they did for it. Or, or no, 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 that's the original artwork. It looks a lot like it, but it is not. It is not. This one's a little bit of a tough one. It is not Cabin in the Woods, not Hills Have Eyes, it is not Winnie the Pooh. It is not The Ruins. It is not Dead and Buried. Oh, and there goes the protein drink. Nailing it. Nailing it. Keeping my energy up. It is not Phantasm 3. It's not The Burning. It's not The Tomb. And we'll drop a little bit of a hint here. This movie came out within the past four years. This movie came out in the past four years. It's not the original Winnie the Pooh, JK. Oh my goodness. This movie is only four years old. Well, it came out within the past four years. It is not uh, the house that Jack built. It is not Cocaine Bear. It's not Terrifier. Ethan Whalen, what's going on, brother man? We're setting records in here tonight. It is not Trick or Treat. Doing some trivia, Ethan. Doing some trivia, man. What horror movie is this poster from? JP, I expect you to be all over this one, man. This movie is less than four years old. Less than four years old. It is not The Bay, Blood Vessel, nor Hatchet. It is not The Fright Night. It is not Willy Wonderland. It is not Amityville Care. And no, 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 no. It is not Children of the Corn. All right. When you think of the lead character in this movie, think comedy. Think comedy. When you think of the of the lead actor slash character in this movie, think comedy. It is not Doctor Sleep. It is not the Nun too. It is not Renfield. Come on, folks. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? Think comedy. Think comedy. Think new. This movie's less than four years old. 
It is not totally killer, Christopher Soprano. Welcome to the horror fam. You are now one of us. You can never grow old. You can never die. It is not Megan. Hmm. It is not Hotel Transylvania. Thank Halloween. Thank Halloween. Okay, so this movie is less than four years old. Thank comedy. Thank Halloween. Shut up, James. Got it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The answer is, in fact, Hubie Halloween. Look at that. Look at that. And with that, shut up, James. Takes his his position on the leaderboards for the first time. For the first time. For the last time. With Hubie Halloween. Oh my God, could that be? Could that be the hardest poster we've ever done? Could that be the hardest poster we've ever done? Oh my God, you guys have never heard of that movie? It was it was huge on Netflix. Huge. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was not easy. Hell no. Hell no. That may be the hardest poster we have ever done on here, dude. Maybe. Hammerhead agrees. Daughter of Death is like, maybe. Nice job, James. Nice job, James. Oh, and we've hit 110 people in here, folks. 110. I got the screenshot to prove it. Dang, 111. Oh, my God. We are moving on up. We are moving on up. Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. I better keep the train rolling here. I think everybody needs an easy one after that. I think everybody needs a real easy one after that. So... I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Here we go. Hands over those keyboards, folks. Hands over the keyboards. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? And I need specifics. I'm gonna need specifics on this one. It is not Zombie Land. It is not the strangers. Oh, Artsy got it. I'm going with Artsy. This one is in fact Zombie Land Double Tap. There we go. Good job, Artsy. It was hard to ignore the, you know, Zombie Land 2 and all that, but I was like, oh man, I gotta do it. I can't can't let that one slide, man. Good job, good job, good job. Zombie Land double tap. And with that, Artsy making her presence felt on the tall core leaderboards. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Three way tie for third, two person tie for second. Claire Lusher still killing it in first. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Trivia is rolling strong tonight, people. I, I'm going to make it a little bit harder with this next one. A little bit harder. I got to get you guys. I got to pull you out into the water a little bit here. I did say it wasn't Zombie Land. Yes, sir, Ethan. You like that? You like that? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. And yeah, Hammerhead said he sees the sackhead Jason. Yes, sir. Whoop. There he is. Check him out. Tater Sack Jason. Gotta love him. All right, folks. Hands over those keyboards. The next one's coming up right now. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult, I believe. A little bit more difficult. We'll see. We'll see. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? Oh, 
Oh, Michael Richardson nailing it. It is, in fact, Z-Witch. It is, in fact, Z-Witch. And with that, Michael Richardson now tying it up with Claire Lusher for first spot. Look at that. Man, oh, man. Man, oh, man. You guys are nailing it. You guys and gals, you guys and gals. And yeah, I have a few uh, collectibles behind me. Wait until I get back to the big WV and have my full setup. Man, I might have to do a, a, a horror tour on that one. I have tons of stuff there. Here I can only bring so much, but yeah, man, we have a burnt Stay Puff down here. Um, I have a regular Stay Puffed somewhere else. Oh, he's right here slightly out of view but man oh man yes 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 tons of stuff here tons of cool stuff we even have look at mrs uh under tater sack jason we have mrs Voorhees's head look at that keeps her head keeps him company we have pazuzu yes yes definitely have because got to keep pazuzu around you never know when you could need him all right folks hands over those keyboards hands over those keyboards your next question is coming up right now. People are going to be all over this when I know it. I know it. Here we go. What horror movie is this poster from? Look at that, folks. Look at that, folks. Everybody knows this one, right? I'm essentially giving this one away. It is not Wonka. Michael Richardson with the quickness. Him and Artsy came through at essentially the same dang time. The answer is, in fact, Halloween Town. And with that, the big MR moves up to first place. Moving on up. Mr. Richardson, I dig it, man. I dig it. Halloween Town. Halloween Town. Man, oh man. And folks, just to keep you updated, I believe the biggest we've had in here so far, let's see, or the most amount of people we've had in here thus far has been 113. 113, and we set that record this stream this stream man oh man let's see here we'll move on to the next question we'll see if we can't hit 115 we'll see if we can't do that all right next question now things are going to start to get a little more difficult i have some easier ones on here but but generally we're getting a little more difficult here okay what horror movie is this poster from? I know people are going to be all over this one. All over this one, man. It is not the blob. We had the blob earlier, James. Oh, Michael Richardson. Very good, sir. Very good. The answer is, in fact, the Evil Dead remake. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, dude. Good job. Ethan knew it. Christopher knew it. And James knew it. But yes, came in with the Evil Dead 2013. Love that movie. Love the Evil Dead remake. So brutal. So brutal. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on, come on. Great movie. Great, excellent movie. Excellent movie. Michael Richardson agrees with me. Very brutal, very intense. Man, talk about a nonstop thrill ride, huh? Claire, yes, great film. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Brutal and just, oh my God, that demon. It literally rains blood in that movie, and they did it without it being cheesy. Man, saw it in theaters, had a great time. Great time. And I have the unrated 
the unrated cut, which is, woo, as if that movie couldn't get any more brutal, the unrated cut, they add some stuff in there. Let's see, let's see. Here we go, here we go. Your next movie is coming up right now, folks. Get those hands over the keyboards. I'm trying to pick you a good one. Trying to pick you a good one. Here we go. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? Look at that. I got some distinct features in this artwork. Some distinct features. It is not... Oh, let's see. It is not the butterfly effect. It is not the crow. It is not the Baba Duke. Oh, Claire Lusher. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take that one. Claire Lusher. And then you correct it anyway. It is, in fact, the Mothman Prophecies. It is, in fact, the Mothman Prophecies. And with that, Claire, you move up just a hair, a hair, Claire, on the leaderboards. Check that out. Check that out. Coming back to reclaim that number one position. Yes, that answer is, of course, the Mothman Prophecies. The Mothman Prophecies from my home state of West Virginia. So if you guys need some damn homework after this stream, go watch that. Go check that out and get you some fancy book learning. You'll, you'll be closer to me because we got to deal with the Mothman all the damn time in the big WV. Got to deal with him all the time. All right, folks, your next question is coming up right now. Let's get those hands over your keyboards. I'm telling you, these are getting tougher. These are definitely getting tougher. Definitely getting tougher, but here we go. What horror movie is this poster from? There you go, Morgan. I'm saying the same thing, man. The Mothman is just misunderstood. It could be an angel. could be an angel. It is not the strangers. It is not the descent. It is not the fly, though. I like these guesses. Oh, Claire. Oh, oh, Claire. Jeez. Jeez. Claire coming in, laying it down, baby. The answer is, in fact, the others. The others. Yes, good job with that. And with that, Claire challenging for first place, ready to reclaim the throne. But I did like some of these guesses. The Strangers, The Descent. Yeah, those all um, similar colors in the posters. I really like that. You guys were on the right track there, but Claire nailed it. It was the others. Damn, Morgan saying that's one of her top 10 favorites. Top 10 favorites. Oh, Claire used to work at Old Blockbuster years ago and saying it's come in handy. Yes, yes, yes. Claire, do you still have your Blockbuster card? And what? Okay, okay. So, okay, Claire, I'm, I'm going to tell you what. I'm not going to wait till the end of the stream. I got to ask you this. I got to ask you this working at Blockbuster. What is the craziest thing you ever saw working at Blockbuster? I gotta know. I gotta know. Craziest thing you ever did see working at Blockbuster. And yeah, we're doing all posters tonight, Chad. We are, hey man, I'm laying the smack down on some of these, dude. We've had some that people are just like, what? Hammerhead says he has all of his video rental cards. Oh, my God. I almost want a picture of this, Hammerhead. I think you're going to have to Discord me a picture of that. Christopher says, I think I still owe fees for not rewinding. Oh, my God, Christopher. 
bad on you. Oh my god, I don't know why it was. It it sucks so much when you would rent a film and then you have to rewind at first. I mean, hell, it only took what a couple minutes, but it still it was like, oh man. I guess it's like when somebody returns your car on an empty tank or something. I don't know. I don't know. Chad Dedman says he went to buy alcohol. They asked him for his ID and he gave them his Blockbuster card and they immediately approved me. No way. Are you being serious? Did that really happen? I gotta know. I gotta know. What? Claire says the craziest thing she ever saw at Blockbuster was her manager shutting a druggie's arm in an ice cream freezer. <laughs> what? Oh my God. It's like, oh man, I almost need some elaboration on that. Wow, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's badass. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. And Chad says, yes, that absolutely did happen. The cashier left and said he was good. Claire, no doubt, no doubt. What a rough area, dude. Whew. Woo. Was some like druggie coming in there to steal ice cream or something? <laughs> like, yes, Christopher. Oh my God. Oh my God, the smell of popcorn, candy, and carpet. Love it. Yeah, like what the, what the hell, man? How does the carpet have a smell? You know what I'm saying? But it did. It did. Um, yeah, I, I think the last, um, the last hurrah, if anybody wants to know what a blockbuster smelled like, just go to your local theater. And if you have a theater that is older, see in West Virginia, the nearest theater to me is still an older theater. So they don't have, they still have the old school seats with the fold out bottom with the red. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. has like that red fuzzy lining. Um, and there's no steps. There's no steps in the theater either. So no bullshit. Like you walk in and it's just a little, uh, not little, but much smaller than your bigger theaters now. Um, but there's just a little slant to the floor. There's not not even any steps. So if you have a theater like that or any theater, man, you want to know what a blockbuster smells like, just, just walk into a movie theater. That's as close as you're going to get. That's as close as you're going to get, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Hobbs says my friend's wife convinced him he had to rewind a DVD before he took it back. There's no way. No way. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woof. Woof. Uh, Michael Richards says, so, Stephen, how many horror films you got? I bet I have you beat with my 280. Um, I have at least double that. At least double that. I haven't ever got a um, an official count, but I have at least double that, man. Um, not trying to brag or anything, but I, yeah, I have, I have a uh, pretty pretty good collection. Pretty good. If 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 I was one of those people, if I was one of those rich people that had unlimited money, or even like a big YouTuber, I'd be one of those psychopaths who, number one, not only have their own theater in their home, but I would even have like the concession stand outside with like the glass case with snacks in it, and like uh, probably even have one of those rooms that look like the old school like uh, mom and pop video store or something. Oh man. Dude, Christopher, if you drop your beer on that slant, it sucked. Oh my God. Yeah, dude. Oh man. I wish, um, oh my God, dude. Yeah. I wish, I hope people, I, I, I wish some of these people understand, could understand what we're talking about, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Dragon Blue says if I don't have close to a thousand movies by now, she'd be shocked. I mean, she's probably, you know, dang. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's gotta be it's gotta be close. All right, folks, man, this is a blast. Hey, we're gonna get into more questions. 
and then we'll chat it up. I still have about one, two, three, four, five left. So, and we got a tie to break here. We got a tie for first. We got a break, baby. We got we got a tie to break. So here we go, folks. Hands over those keyboards. Hands over those keyboards. These are going to be tougher. These are going to be tougher. So let's let's get started. Here we go. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? Ah, I gotta get my vitamin C water in. Mm. What horror movie is this poster from? No, it is not Mandy nor Christine. It is not Amityville. It is not Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's see. What horror movie is this poster from? It is not Demons. It is not Demons. What horror movie is this poster from? It is not Carrie. It is not Deadly Friend. It is not Night of the Demons. No, sir. No, sir. This one is a bit more difficult. This one is a bit more difficult. Okay, let's see. Oh, Morgan Scorpion. Nailing it. Good job, Morgan. The answer was, in fact, Ty West's house of the devil and with that Morgan Scorpion taking her position on the leaderboards look at this folks look at this Morgan Scorpion nailing it the answer was in fact Ty West's house of the devil and as a matter of fact when they released that movie Michael Richardson they released it on DVD but you could buy a special edition that came with a big box VHS and a DVD combo, and I bought it. I know they've re-released it since then and not too long ago on VHS, but I have the OG um, DVD VHS combo of that. So, cool little fun fact for you there, man. Uh, one, of the, one of the cooler things I believe I have in my collection... But all right, folks, all right, we're going to move on to the next question. So get those hands over the keyboards. I told you these are going to get a little more difficult, a little more difficult. And what we have here, we have Morgan Scorpion on the leaderboards. Michael Richardson and Claire Lush are tied for first. Tied for first. Who knows where this could go, but get those hands over the leaderboards. Your next question is coming up right now. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? Oh man, I tried to get that screenshot. Let's see. It is not Boogeyman. It is not The Fly. It is not One Last Call. It is not Dying Light. It is not Willow. Chad Edmonds, I want to see your collection of 50 Betamax horror movies. I'd like to see that. It is not The Grudge. It is not Signs. It is not Quarantine. It is not I Know What You Did Last Summer. It is not Light Bulb <laughs> Hammerhead. It is not Darkness Falls, J. Chris. No, sir. No, sir. It is not The House on Haunted Hill. It is not Tootsie. It is not Sinister. It is not Jigsaw. It is not Fun House. Okay, I'm going to drop a hint. I'm going to drop a hint. This is a late 90s horror movie. Late 90s. 
late 90s. It is not Dr. Giggles. It is not the autopsy of Jane, Jane Doe. This is a late 90s horror movie. It is not Dead Pit. It is not The Haunting. It is not The Faculty. It is not Scream. It is not Uncle Sam. No, sir. No, sir. It is not The Ice Cream Man. This movie, I will say, I will, I will also give you this hint. This movie also did make it to theaters. This did have a theatrical release. It is not Dead End. It is not The Descent. Late 90s. Late 90s. It is not Untraceable. Holy shit, Claire Lusher. Um, that, that's, that's one I have not heard in a very long time. <laughs> Damn, I forgot that existed. Uh, it's not the Black Dahlia, it's not Poltergeist, not Memorial Day, not Jacob's Ladder. This is late 90s, late 90s. It is not Leprechaun. And this did have a theatrical release. This movie was directed very, very by a very stylistic director. Very stylistic. He's still around today, still doing well. Still has a fan base. It is not Ravenous. Good guess, Chad. I liked that movie. It is not The Haunting Michael Richards and Trav Zimmerman. Where in the hell have you been, Trav? Please email me, contact at talkhorror.com. I need to ask you a question. I haven't seen you in forever. I'm going to have to send you an Apple AirTag just so I can keep track of you. It is not House of a Thousand Corpses. It is not the house that Jack built. Um... This movie did get sequels, though of a definitely of a lesser quality. This movie did get sequels. It is not Argentina or Argento's Dracula. No, 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 no. It is not People Under the Stairs. Not in the Mouth of Madness. It is not Wishmaster. You are definitely on the right track, Christopher. Um. It is not Lake Placid on the right track, Hammerhead. You guys are, are getting the right... You're in the late 90s. I, it is not I Know What You Did Last Summer. It is not New Nightmare. Holy shit, this might be a new one, DOD, for the most difficult. I have stumped some people here. Okay, it, oh, it is not The Relic. Good job, Jay Chris. It is not The Relic. Samuel Stokes! He nailed it, folks. Claire, you were right there too, my friend. But no, 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 no. It is, in fact, Mimic. It is, in fact, Mimic. Samuel Stokes, great job, sir. Great job. Great job. The answer was, in fact, Mimic. Man, oh, man, I stumped some people with that one. Man, oh man. Yes, good film, good film. Different film, different film. Um, Yeah, definitely. But you see what I'm saying? It was directed by Guillermo del Toro, and I didn't, I was like, oh, how can I, how can I throw that out there? You know, uh, it was hard to give some hints for, hard to give some hints for. Uh, Mimic was, you know, um, poof. Yeah, Species, there you go, Chad. That would have been a good guess as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's of that era. Uh, and a similar poster, too. But, yes, good job, Samuel Stokes. Laying it down, man. I whew, I thought that one was a, a, a tough one. Uh, I might have some stumpers coming up, though, man. It's going to be interesting to see what people think. What, what was the most difficult one of the night? We're going to take some votes at the end of this and see. Um. But here we go. Here we go. Next one coming up right now, folks. Next one coming up right now. What horror movie is this poster from? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I, I have a feeling this one's going to go fairly soon. Fairly soon. Oh, Samuel Stokes. Samuel Stokes. 
Laying the smacketh downeth. It is, in fact, a stir of echoes, sir. Good job. Good job, Samuel Stokes, man. You nailed that one. And with that, Samuel Stokes moves up the leaderboards with two points. With two points, he, of course, answered Mimic and then Stir of Echoes. Woof! Woof! Quick! But, hey, man, look, 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 look. Claire knew it. Oh, my goodness. Claire knew it. She was right there with you, Samuel. Right there with you. And, hey, let me tell you something. Christopher Soprano said, hey, fellow Italian Mira Sorvino talking about the female lead in Mimic. Hey, man, Italians are strong in the horror fam. Let me tell you something, dude. We got our fair t- fair share of the Italianos in here. Making bacon. There we go, Hammerhead. Yes, yes, yes. Stir of echoes. Good job, Samuel Stokes. So here's what we got. We got Michael Richardson and Claire Lusher still tied for first. We have Hammerhead and Samuel Stokes tied for second. It's going to be interesting to see where this leads us. And then JK, shut up, James. Artsy and Morgan Scorpion tied for third. It's going to be interesting to see who flourishes. We have two questions left. Two questions left, folks. And then we're left to our own devices to chat just for a little minute here because I've been getting asked for some for some questions. Yeah, Jay Chris, he said I'm tied for last. Hey, brother. Hey, you, you're always, you've won this before. So I'm, I'm expecting you to hop on the leaderboards any minute, dude. Any minute. We're going to see. We are going to see. Here we go, folks. Hands over those keyboards. Next question coming up right now. Right now. And like I said, these ones there, they're about to get hard. They are about to get hard. Oh, 115 people in here getting the screenshot in, getting the screenshot in. We're at 115 peoples. Oh, my goodness, folks. This is insane. 116. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can be quick enough to get that screenshot. There we go. 116 in here now. We're going to throw up the next trivia question. Get those hands over the keyboards. Hands over the keyboards. Here you go, folks. What horror movie is this poster from? This is a little more difficult, I think. A little more difficult. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm eager to see who gets this one. I am eager to see who gets this one. Oh, man. It is not 10-minute photo. Morgan Scorpion is not the house that Jack built. It is not Rear Window. It is not Vertigo. It is not Shadow of a Vampire. No Vampire. It is not Interior. It is not Suspiria. Suspiria. No, sir. It is not Renfield. No, sir. It is not the Bobby Dukes. It is not the Baba Yaga either. It is not Prom Night 2. Hello, Mary Lou. It is not Peeping Tom. It is not Peeping Tom. It is not Disturbia. It is not Changeling. Actually, Jay Chris, Disturbia was one of our posters earlier, though. I think that was where you hopped in here. But, oh, this is a tough one. This, I told you, man, this one, this one's tough, guys. This one is tough, guys and gals. Oh, Michael Richardson is requesting a hint. If I get one more request for a hint, I'll drop one. Only because we're so late in the game. Only because we're so late in the game. It is not Peeping Tom. It is not In Dreams. Hammerhead wants a hint. Morgan wants a hint. Here we go. This movie is from the 80s. However, it did get a remake 
in the 2000s. It did get a remake in the late 2000 to 2010, the late aughts. It got a remake in the late aughts. But the original is from the 80s. It is not Psycho 2. It is not The Evil Dead. It is not Maniac. This movie did get a remake in the late aughts, but the original is from the 80s. They both go by the same name, too. It is not My Bloody Valentine. It is not Silent Night, Deadly Night. It is not Night of the Demons. Shroom Trippers like, man, I just have to accept it. I'll never get any of these. Oh, man. I'm seeing some good guesses here, and you never know, Shroom Shroom Tripper. You never know, man. It's not the Miner. It's not Mother's Aid. It is not Willard. It is not the Fog. It's not Night of the Demons. It's not Child's Play. The late aughts. Oh, J. Chris. J. Chris. J. Chris. J. Chris. He got it. He got it. The answer is, in fact, the stepfather. The stepfather. Damn, that was a tough one. And if I remember right, well, I like the original Stepfather. That is a creepy ass, creepy ass movie, dude. Creepy movie. The dude reminds me of freaking Ted Bundy or something. Reminds me of Ted Bundy or something. Look at that. Jay Chris making his presence felt on the leaderboards. And I'm going to tell you something here. I'm going to tell you something here, Shroom Tripper. I make dreams come true in the talk in the uh, talk or live stream, brother. There you go, there you go. Shroom Tripper has made the leaderboards, folks. Look at that! Look at that, Shroom Tripper. Good job, buddy. Good job, brother. And Jay Chris has made the leaderboards as well. Glad to see you on there, Jay. Yeah, you've came. I mean, dude, you're a top competitor. Top competitor for sure. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Yes, I, I get. I see. I'm getting some backup on the uh, stepfather comment I made there. But here's the deal, folks. When we take a look at the leaderboards, we still have Michael Richardson, and Claire Lusher tied for first. We have Hammerhead and Samuel Stokes tied for second. And then we have J.K. Shut Up James, Artsy Morgan Scorpion, and Jay Chris all tied for third. So I have a feeling we are about to break some ties here with this last question. This is the last question we have. Gory Tiger, welcome to the stream. Chad, we have no idea where Nate is. JP was asking earlier. Nate has not been uh, coming in as of late. Not as not as much. Not as regular as he used to. We don't know. I, th- I think it's because I put him in timeout last time. I don't, know. I don't know. He had to go to his room. All right, folks, next question coming up right now, and it is your last as I'm fighting off a sneeze, if you can't tell. Woo, something hit me. All right, folks, here we go. Last question coming up right now. Hands over those keyboards. This is going to be another tough one. This is going to be another tough one, but I have a feeling it's one of those, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. So here we go. Here we go. What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? What horror movie is this poster from? Take a good long look at this one. Oh my goodness, Samuel Stokes coming in with the quickness. He knew it. It is in fact, Samuel. It is in fact the dentist. The Dentist. Oh, my goodness. And with that, Samuel Stokes moving up the leaderboards. Check it out. Carving out a spot in seconds. In seconds. Good job, Samuel Stokes, man. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. So here is the official scores 
here's the official scores here. Michael Richards and Claire Lusher tied for first. Samuel Stokes in second. And Hammerhead in third. And then we have JK, shut up, James. Artsy, Morgan Scorpion, and Jay Chris. Mmm. Tied for fourth. And then Shroom Tripper. Hey, he makes the leaderboards. Come on. There's Shroom, everybody. Hey. Let's give it up for all of our competitors today. Let's give it up for all of our competitors today. Chad Edmonds is shouting tiebreaker. I don't know if we can do it. I don't know if we can do it. Claire. Claire, are you in here? Would you? If Claire and Michael Richardson agree to a tiebreaker, I will do a tiebreaker. Trav Zimmerman, that is not just you. That is our, oh my goodness. Look, when you come in our streams, Trav, let me tell you something. Trav, Trav says, folks, in case you missed it, is it just me or is anyone else hearing porn music? Trav, let me tell you something. When you come into the tall core streams, I want everybody to have a good time. I want everybody to have a good time, Trav. So I turn the lights down. I put on the music. Trav, let me tell you something. Sit back. Close your eyes. There you go, Trav. Pour you a nice hot bath with some Calgon. Mm, close those eyes. And just slip away into my voice, Trav. I'll take care of you. Big Steve will take care of you, Trav. Always. Always, Trav. You know I've got... Your best interest, always at heart, Trav. See, Samuel says it. He's like, hey, I love this music. What are you talking about? I love it. Jay Chris, I'm on every Thursday, man. Typically, 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 it is at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. This time, I had to go earlier. I have some, we have a lot of stuff going on. We are fixing to pull a cross-country move and lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff going on. Yeah, Hammer said, hey, it sets the mood. And and Jay Chris, I'll comment on that in just a little bit. I talked a little bit about it at the at the beginning of the stream, but we'll get on into that here in just a minute. So I was gonna say, I know that Claire is in here. I know that Michael Richardson is in here. If I can get you guys both to agree to a tiebreaker, I'll do one. I'll do a tiebreaker for Claire and Michael if they want a tiebreaker. If not, I'll leave it and they can keep each other company. But it's up to them. Michael Richardson, Claire Lush, or do you guys want a tiebreaker? And it has to be unanimous. It has to be unanimous. Jay Chris, I'm not leaving West Virginia. I'm headed back to the big WV. Headed back to the big WV. Michael Richardson is saying no. He's saying no. He doesn't want a tiebreaker. Claire says she doesn't mind. Well, I'll tell you what. They can keep each other company. There you go, folks. Give it up. Michael Richardson and Claire. Let's please. Hey, let's get some hands in the stream. Let's get some hands in the stream for these two competitors. Two competitors right there, man. Fierce competition. Good job, you two. Let's get some hands up for Claire and Michael. There we go. DB, Samuel Stokes laying it down. Morgan with the woohoo. Chad with the Freddy. Yeah, I like it. Jay Chris. Christopher in there. Got the, the, the old Italiano. Congratos. Fantasticos in there. I like it. Man, good job, y'all. Good job, y'all. And hey, I'll tell you what. It's 423. If y'all have any last minute questions or comments, we had a great round of trivia today, but if y'all have some last minute questions or comments, I will get to those right now. Um, yes, Trav, we are headed back to the big West Virginia. Things are going to be a little bit weird in here uh, as far as the talk horror things go, because for the next month and a half, we're, we are uh, planning and prepping a move. Then we're going to be actually on the road. And it takes, um, it, it takes you know, five, six days total for the, uh, 
for the for the move to take place, man. I mean, that's on the road right there, you know. So, no, I did not see your comment about the tarot movie, Michael. I did not see the new Crow trailer, Samuel Stokes, but I did see the pictures, and he looks. I'm I'm just calling him Crackhead Crow. Kind of looks like a crackhead, man. I don't know why they went with the damn. Um, Machine Gun Kelly look for him, but it's not cool. Jay Chris saying, my U-Haul from New Mexico to California for two days cost me $1,200. Dude, it is outrageously expensive in California. So I'll, I'll give you a nice little, um, a nice little game to play. Because obviously I brought a U-Haul out to California. Now I'm going to have to have a U-Haul to get back to West Virginia. Here's a game you can play. If you go to U-Haul and you put in that you are moving from California to West Virginia, you'll get a high price. You're going to get a high price. If you simply flip your leaving and, and destination, if you simply flip that you're leaving West Virginia to come to Cali, that price drops significantly. There's a significant price drop. They charge you more, far more out here. Far more. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, you know, it's just California is more expensive across the boards. Oh. Hey, Chad, man, you have a good night, man. You have a good night, brother. Take care of yourself. Christopher want to know, how about a live talk horror from the road? We may have to do that. We may have to do that. That may have to take place, man. I have a feeling we are going to be uh, on the road on a Thursday. Um, because getting out of here, the traffic in California is absolutely insane. So we're probably going to leave on a weekday. You definitely don't want the weekend traffic. So that, that may take place. I don't know. I don't know. J. Chris says, too many people leaving Cali. Well, it's just things are so expensive out here, man, that like even, you know, I feel bad for, for some of the people out here because it's like, um, you know, because there's a lot of people who, who want to leave here who can't because they're stuck because they're like, it's almost like the working class out here. You can only work just to afford rent. And that's it. And then if you want to leave, it's even more difficult to leave. It's almost like you're trapped because getting out of here is more expensive than coming here. <laughs> Jay Chris, gas is over $4, almost five. Dude, I drive a Camaro Z28 that only takes premium gas. I paid $5.09 a gallon the last time I was at the pump. $5.09 a gallon. Shroom Tripper saying, Kentucky here, I guess we will be neighbors again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, brother. Um, what part of Kentucky, if you don't mind me asking? I've only been through there. I've only driven through Kentucky. I haven't really got to stop and check it out. I would love to someday, though. Kentucky is a really pretty state. But yes, howdy neighbor. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Come on. Come on, Hammerhead. Definitely not fancy pants. Definitely not fancy pants. Um, I'm actually thinking about selling my Camaro. It's an older one. It's a um, 94. Um, so definitely not fancy. If I, if I had a brand new one, then you could call me fancy pants. That would be freaking sweet. But, um, you know, it is officially a classic car now and it is just, I'm, you know, I'm not a mechanic. It's expensive, only takes expensive gas. Insurance is expensive. Like, uh, so, you know. Definitely not a fancy pants, man. <laughs> it's a fun car. It is a fun car, but... Uh. Hey, Artsy's from Kentucky, too? Well, what is going on? 
Oh my goodness gracious, gracious, heck yeah. I got me plenty of neighbors in here, man. Y'all are going to keep me nice and cozy. I like, are you seeing this, Anna? Where are you at, DB? We got neighbors in here. You need to come in and say howdy. Well, that's awesome. Maybe I'll uh, run into you guys sometimes. Because like I said, I've been looking to spend a little more time in Kentucky and check it out. It's really beautiful, I think. And um, all I've done is driven through it. I drove through it on my way to Tennessee, which was also another beautiful state. So... Oh, Hammerhead says he got him an HHR. Now he doesn't get pulled over anymore. What did you used to have, Hammerhead? Jay Chris, Living in Cali is a horror movie to my bank account, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It has... Um, not good. Not good. Um, I'll put it to you this way. I'll put it to you this way, man. If... Um, if you want to, I, so I want to take talk horror full time this year. I'm praying I can, that's one of my goals. I want to take talk horror full time and this become what I do for a living. That absolutely, I, if, if you told me that I had to stay in California, I would just give up. I would just, I'd have to tell you guys goodbye. It's It would be impossible out here. There's absolute... It might be impossible in West Virginia, and the cost of living out there is literally like one-fourth of what it is out here. I mean, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I would just like the, the influencer thing, YouTube or whatever the hell you want to call it, like that would not be possible out here. I feel really bad for people who, you know, especially younger kids or whatever who have that dream... And it's like, good luck. Good luck. Because as soon as they hit 18, they're going to be dumped into, well, surprise, bud, your rent is now freaking four grand a month. It's like, <laughs> woof. You know, Christopher, arrivederci, and ciao. I'm, I'm actually learning Italian right now. So you come in anytime, man, and uh, you know uh, I know a little salve. Io sono, uh, io sono Stephen, or is that Io sono? Is it Io sono? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, oh my God, I'm on the slot. See, I got to do more practice. Got to do more practice. Practice. Look at Jay. Jay knows it. Oh, my goodness, Jay. Come on. Make me look bad, dude. Come on. He's from the big Palm Springs. I feel you, man. Big big L.A. over here. Big L.A., man. But, yeah, that is cool, man. That is cool. We got some neighbors in here, DB. Got some neighbors. Have, uh, have you guys, Artsy, um, have you been to... Um, West Virginia. Gotta ask that. Gotta ask that. And Shroom Tripper, have you been to West Virginia? Oh, oh my God. Near Louisville. So Waverly Hills territory. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Spooky, dude. Spooky. I hear you though, man. I hear you. Oh my God! See, Christopher, buona fortuna. I don't even know what that means yet. Um, Io sono de West Virginia. I can do that. Um, let's see. Un café con latte, per favore. Woo! Yes. Yeah. See, I got that far. I got that far. But yeah, so lots coming up, folks. Just want to, want to let y'all know what's going on with us and what we're getting into. Huge, huge stream today. We set new records. Set new records. The highest screenshot I got was we were at 117 people in here at one point. 117 people strong. 
Um, I'm going to try before we leave, just so y'all know, I'm going to try to get you some videos, some vlogs from out here in Cali before I hit the bricks. Uh, so look forward to that. I have, I know I've, I've said it a couple times. I feel bad. We have the My Bloody Valentine review coming up. I'm going to go to uh, JP's and show everybody the creepy room, as we lovingly call it. He has a huge collection of animatronics and Halloween decor. I'm going to vlog that. I'm going to be very scary. Jax Klaus, what's going on, Jax? Oh, man. Yeah, Artsy, we're going to get some vlogs going. Going to get you some vlogs going. Um, like I said, before I hit the bricks, and Artsy, if you haven't, have you checked out the uh, Weird and Wonderful that me and DB did when we visited all those haunted locales? If not, you should definitely check those out because um, those, are, those are some mega vlogs right there. Ooh, horror TV trivia could be cool, Jay. Horror TV trivia. I don't know. I don't know. We get some people in here that are big into the TV stuff, and then some I'm worried. I'm like, man, would they really be into it? Members only uh, Hammerhead should still be going on this month. Absolutely. The members only stream still should be going on. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But all right, my friends, I'm going to hop off here. Get me something to munch down upon. And um, yeah, members only stream this Friday, March 29th. Membership start at $1.99. Pick that up. Be part of uh, be part of the Talk Horror membership circle. And hey, man, we will... Um, We'll have ourselves a members-only get-together at the end of the month. Absolutely. But all right, my friends, until next time, look horror, listen horror, talk horror, my friends. I love all of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being with me. No, it's not this Friday. Excuse me, Dragon Blues. Yes, whoops. At the, uh, at the end of the month, we'll have a members-only stream. Last Friday at the uh, um, of every month, we have a members-only stream. All right, everybody. Mm.